You never did have much luck with women. You'd think. And then he comes here with a gachet girl. I saw her. Pretty, in a porcelain sort of way. Yeah, that's her. A real quiet type. I've been working in this village since before the gachets moved here and I never got to speak a word with her. <laughs> Yet her and Vincent, they were... They were chatting in that way. You know, like, speaking to each other was the most exciting thing ever. <laughs> All I can see was just your foot. God knows what she saw in him. <laughs> Must have been twice her age. And next to her, he looked like a tramp. Well, you think there was something going on? They said they were here to paint, but they took a boat. Couples often do. I wondered how long it would take you to come back. He painted you, didn't he? So, why are you here? Where else would I be? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Sailing around the world, catching a thief, chatting up a pretty girl. Because I want to do something for Vincent. I'm sure there's a lot you can do for him now that he's dead. I heard you take flowers to his grave every day. Isn't that doing something for Vincent, even though he's dead? Oh, that. I just do that out of respect. He was a great artist. He liked flowers. Still, seems real nice of you. You must have been friendly. I wouldn't say so. He was here to see father. He was his doctor and he became his friend. Mm. It's hardly surprising. They were both artists. They liked the same painters. They understood each other. When father invited Vincent's brother and their family for Sunday lunch, Vincent joked that my father was the third brother. Cheers, everyone. So you were like one big family then? He painted here sometimes. It was part of the treatment my father recommended. We didn't socialise. So when you went to the river, that wasn't socialising? The river? The boatman says you took a boat together. Said it looked like you knew each other pretty well. well. People think they see all sorts of things in this village. Must have been some other girl. I told you I barely knew him. It was father he was here for. They were like minds. They agreed on everything. Everything? Really? Revue girl said Vincent and Dr Gachet argued. My, you really have been slumming it. I don't care for village gossip. She said people saw Vincent storming out of here not long before his death, and your dad was running after him. So what? You think there was some argument with my father and that's why Vincent is dead? You think it's my father's fault, do you? No, I didn't say that. I think it would be best if you leave now. Good day.
It isn't the Provence pugilist. Should I be scared? Thought you didn't go in for village gossip. I don't. That's why one employs servants. They get it for you. You also hear that your friendly local Jean Dom put me up for the night. So now you're up here contemplating your future. No, actually. I was thinking, how come you lied if you've got nothing to hide? What makes you think I have any duty to tell you the truth? Maybe I just thought my life is none of your business. I wasn't asking about your life. I was asking about Vincent's death. You thought that his death and my life were linked? Yes. No, but... But I don't think that anymore. The truth is, I'm not important. He wasn't some lovelorn teenager. I know. Did you know he was a genius? No. Can't say that I did. Well, I did. Not finished yet. All right, I'll see you later. Thank you. He's still working. And so did my father. All his life, he has tried so hard to be an artist. And then this rough, awkward man, without any proper training, who'd only been painting a few years, comes barging in and rushes off in a couple of hours what poor father couldn't dream of painting in two lifetimes. My dad would lock himself away and copy them for hours. Father told me I was distracting Vincent from important work. Asked if I really wanted to be responsible for preventing masterpieces from being born. Of course I didn't. So I started to not be in or not be well when Vincent called. Soon after that, they had an argument. A terrible row. What do you think about it? Wasn't about me. But maybe my withdrawal had soured things. And the next time my father saw him, he had a bullet in his belly. Are you satisfied now? You can blame me. You can blame my father. You are not to blame. You've no part in it. He was shot by some boys. Some boy named René Secretin. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm serious. I can see that. René is an idiot, for sure, but he's not a murderer. An idiot who drank, who had a gun, who walked around all summer with it, waving it in people's faces, who bullied Vincent, who was seen with Vincent on the day of his death, and his stuff disappears. Now, he, he didn't disappear it himself, so... Now, it must have been someone else. It must have been. So lonely Vincent resorts to hanging around with drunken teenagers and he gets shot. Or he shoots himself in despair at his lonely life. The result is the same. Either way, instead, he could have been at our place painting if I'd behaved differently. If him and my father hadn't argued... But don't you care that some... some bastard may have gotten away with murder? You want to know so much about his death. But what do you know of his life? 
I know that he tried hard to prove he was good for something. Yes, he did. That's why I take flowers to his grave. That's all I can do for him now. He would appreciate the delicate beauty of their bloom. Even each blade of their grassy stems. No detail of life was too small or too humble for him. He appreciated and loved it all. 